so fine Why? Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dara Lee and today's video is going to be a little bit different. So this will be my first mini vlog of my day and night skincare routine and all the products I'm currently using. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and keep on watching. Okay, so don't mind my grumpy face. I'm definitely not a morning person, but this is how I get up, start my day with a yawn and a quick stretch. So my skin is not the best, but it has come a long way. So I still have breakouts here and there, but overall my skin has really improved over the years. In another video, I'm going to go into more detail um, about my skincare journey with pictures, so stay tuned for that. So as you guys saw, first thing first, you can't start your day off without fresh breath. So I brush my teeth and as always, I use Sensodyne. And right here, I was excited because I had a big pimple last night, but now it's gone. So the products definitely do work for me. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. I like to wet the face first and then apply my cleanser. But you really could do it either way. Some people like to apply the cleanser while their face is still dry. Um, but again, it all depends on your preference. The cleanser I use and swear by is a La Roche-Posay Purifying Foaming Cleanser for normal to oily skin. I have really oily skin, so when I found this, I fell in love. I believe they also have one for dry skin, so definitely check them out. So I like to just use my hands and get a good lather on the face and really massage into the skin. After I've massaged the face a few times, I go ahead and rinse it off with warm water. Notice here I'm only drying my face with a white towel. I emphasize white because it isn't best to use colored fabric on your face because of the dye or paper towels because it can leave residue. Next up, I'm going to attack any little pimples I have on my face with this clindamycin gel. It was prescribed to me by my dermatologist, so if you're interested, be sure to ask yours. Or there may be an equivalent over the counter, I'm not sure. So to apply the gel, I literally just put a dot in each zone on my face and then massage it into those areas. Um, it's really nothing special to the technique. I use, you know, just a small size as you guys can see. Don't go too heavy with it because it's really for, I guess you could say spot treatment. I'm only instructed to use this product once in the morning um, and I have another product that I use at night, which you guys will see in my nighttime routine. What's also part of my routine both day and night is to moisturize those lips. You cannot forget about them because they need to be nice and moisturized. So as you guys can see, my face is really not that bad. I just suffer from hyperpigmentation and a little bit of breakout. The last step in my morning routine is moisturizing. I prefer the Honest brand face and body lotion. Um, so far, this moisturizer has not been harsh on my skin. Um, like other things I've tried before. I use a generous amount and really work it into the skin. I cannot stress this enough how vital this step is. You must always moisturize your face, especially if you're using any type of um, skincare treatment or medication, just so it can lock in all that treatment and it won't leave your skin, you know, like brittle or dry. A good tip for choosing the best moisturizer is if you can use it on both the body and the face because that means it isn't harmful and it was made with the safest ingredients. And y'all better not come for me for my fro looking like that, okay? I already knew. That's why I laugh. I'ma fix that. Like, I'ma fix that and she's gonna be good. She's still cute. Also, I did not show it in this video, but usually I like to apply a good sunscreen so that when I'm out and about, my skin isn't being damaged. 
All right, so we're back. It's now nighttime and it's time to relax and get ready for bed. So what I tell y'all though about that fro, look at her, look at her. What? Yeah, I can't tell me I kill it. But anyway, back to the video. I was wearing the Savage Fenty face mask, which is pretty thick and I like so far. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and push my hair back so it's not in my way and I can get started with my face. So I did end up applying a little bit of concealer to my face this morning instead of like heavy makeup. So I'm gonna go in and use my good old micellar water to remove the makeup so that it's easier to clean the face. I ran out of cotton pads so I had to improvise and use a piece of paper towel which I was not happy about because I hate it. Um, but I, <laughs> it was my only option and I just used that to wipe across my face. I really did not go heavy with the concealer, so it wasn't that much. Um, but as you guys saw in my first, well, in my morning video, I do not like to use paper towel just because it leaves like, you know, or it could leave like particle and break up on your face. Now, while my face is still a little damp from the micellar water, I'm gonna go back in with the La Roche Posay. I just like saying it, La Roche Posay. Okay, uh, my bad, uh, from this morning. And I'm going to, again, do the same process, apply it. And as you guys see, it's not as um, soapy from this morning because again, my face is not that wet, but it's damp. So like I was telling y'all, this is the other option. You can apply it still whether your face is dry or wet. Um, unlike this morning though, I am gonna go in with the exfoliating brush. I got this um, from Walmart, I believe. It was very cheap, about like maybe $14, if that, maybe less. But it's nothing fancy. You don't have to, you know, go ahead and break your pockets. It just needs to get the job done. That's it. Um, this one had, I think, three different speeds. Um, I just use it on like the fastest one and I also, you know, go in circular motions as you guys can see. And I really just take my time. I like to make sure that the product is really worked into the skin. Um, this is really important when you're wearing, again, makeup. And for me, my usual is like foundation, concealer, contour, all that good stuff. So you want to make sure you're using a brush to really get all that junk and makeup and dirt off. Something that your hands, you know, can't obviously do. And now I'm just going to wash that off again with warm water um, and then dab it dry with the white towel. So it's really only a few things that are different from my morning routine um, for the nighttime. So instead of using the clinamycin gel, I'm going to go ahead and use my Epiduo Forte gel, which was also prescribed by my dermatologist. My directions are to use clinamycin in the morning and Epiduo at and night. And as you guys saw, I only used one pump and I apply it to the face and then massage it in. This product is very lightweight um, because it's also like a gel consistency so you don't have to worry about it weighing your face down. This next product is fairly new but I've been liking it thus far. It's the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. It is very gentle and cooling to the face. Um, I just dab a little on my finger and then apply it and massage it on in. Um, this is a sample size too from Sephora. I got it in one of my orders. And so, like I said, it's new, but I've been liking it. I think it's been over maybe two weeks now. Now I know when my next purchase to get the bigger one. So I see that that little pimple from earlier wants to come back. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my ordinary niacinamide plus zinc um, serum. This is like a miracle worker. I use it on the pimple and the next day is either smaller or gone completely. 
be sure not to let the dropper touch your skin um, so that it's not contaminated. But I just apply a few drops and then I just rub it in and let it sit for about 15 minutes. And the great thing about niacinamide is that it is a form of vitamin B3. And so this essential nutrient helps to build like proteins in your skin. Um, so that improves the texture as well as make your pores appear smaller and offers protection against any environmental damage. And already you guys can see a difference in my skin with just a few products that we already use. So now that we let the serum wait for 15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and use the Laneige um, moisturizing cream that came with my little sample packet. So far, um, well, the last two weeks, I've been using this instead of the Honest brand that I use in the morning. I'm trying to see if it makes a difference. But as y'all can see, I clearly love it. <laughs> and so... I'm mad that I only got the sample size, but again, um, when I order from Sephora, I will definitely get the full one because it just makes my skin feel so nice and smooth. So yeah, I just took a generous amount and applied it to the entire face. And last, but certainly not least, I had to apply some Vaseline to my lips and I love the cocoa butter one. It smells really good. Um, a good tip is I also apply it to my eyebrows. And yes, ladies, if you did not know this trick, now you do because it helps them grow, sis. So get on it. And now we're all done. The skin is glowing, looking good. And yeah, that concludes this skincare video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any additional questions about the products that I use or you have any other products, let me know on the next one. Why